For the first time in history, the Old Dominion basketball program has cracked the Associated Press Top 25, and even the always conservative Jeff Jones is coming around to embrace the news. With wins over the likes of VCU, LSU, and Georgia State, the Monarchs have won nine games in a row. Jones took over a team that won all of five games two years ago and then followed up with 18 wins in his first season last year, which was recognized as the best turnaround in all of college basketball. And the normally serious coach actually had a smile on his face today when he discussed the big news. Initially, I was probably a Grinch, um, uh, but you know, I, I understand that it's, it's a, I guess, a, a nice step. Uh, for, for the team and, and, and certainly a, a, a nice recognition for, for the program. But at, at the same time, for, for this basketball team, you know, we, we need to remain focused on, on what we're supposed to be doing. And, and getting some acknowledgement doesn't change that at all. Next up for the Monarchs, a seven and four, a seven and a half hour bus ride to Huntington, West Virginia for a game Thursday night at Marshall, a team which is only won four games so far this season, but don't think for a second that Jones and his team is looking past the thundering herd. Anytime you go on a road uh, and, and, and then going on the road uh, and, and for a conference is, is doubly tough, so you've got to be ready uh, to go in there. Uh, again, as we told them going down to Charlotte, it's big boy basketball. You've got to be ready to compete. Things aren't always going to go our way, and we've got to be mentally and physically tough enough uh, to uh, kind of withstand you know, whatever they might throw at us. Following the Marshall game, ODU takes a four and a half hour bus ride to Bowling Green, Kentucky for a Saturday tip off at Western Kentucky. Former ODU coach Blaine Taylor will actually be doing the color commentary on that television broadcast.